Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamur Shikandar welcome back to another part of the city guide application tutorial today we are going to create a tutorial on remember me and when the user is going to press the remember me button and we are going to create that phone number and password or whatever the field is to the sessions and we will every time we will get that data from sessions so let's run our application and after this click on this plus icon and go for the login currently as this is the first time we never created session before so you can see everything is empty we have to enter the phone number we have to enter the password so let's enter some phone number here let's just add a password here click on this remember me button and click login checking data with the firebase and we are redirected to the next screen or whatever uh, basically user is logged in now to the system let's just close it and rerun the application now basically when we are going to click on this login uh, we should have to get that specific phone number and password set in that field already so we just have to press this login button this time and we should be redirected yes we are redirected we have not entered anything so this is what we are going to create in this tutorial so let's get started open android studio and we are inside the login screen we have created and now today we are going to perform the remember me functions so you can see we have a remember me already created in the design if you want to create any of the design or any of the functionality you are going to check or you already checked so you can get that link in the description below so uh, when user is going to click on this remember me we have assigned the id which is remember underscore me so let's go to login and create a checkbox variable on the top of on create which is remember me and after that in the remember me we can simply create its hook now when the let's go back to example and now when the user is going to click on this login and if this checkbox is selected then we want to store this phone number and password in the session and every time when user is trying to log in or press the login button then we want to automatically fill these fields phone number and password so user don't have to fill them again so let's go to the login and this is a function basically which will be called on the on click function after checking the internet connection it should be on and the fields are valid uh, after then we will get all the fields in here in the strings so when, once we get all these fields before going to check the data uh, in the firebase we will add a check here that if remember me dot is checked whatever is stored in phone number and password we want to store that in session before going to add anything into the session first we need to create a session so uh, if you guys are following my previous tutorial which is about the session manager we have created this class which is basically a session manager class inside this databases folder and we have created shared preferences editor and the context from which activity is calling this session and then we have the variables login and bunch of other variables to be called publicly from other activities okay now in here you can see the session is only uh, if we are going to create this class again which is session manager or java it is not going to create another session because we statically defined session name which is user login session so we cannot create another session in this variable uh, either we have to create a new class uh, which contain all these functionalities or we can update this class a bit more and we can use the same class but we will add our own functionality so what if we create global variable with session names let's say we need two sessions so we will make sure that these are public because we need to pass the session names from other activities so we will write public static so they cannot be changed and they should be final and in a string so let's just name it session underscore the first session name is user session and as we are passing string here we need to define the string name so we will just copy it and paste it here so this is the first session when the user is going to publicly access this variable from outside this class and pass this session in the context uh, in the sorry constructor then we will receive it like string session name and instead of this variable we will simply pass session name here so by this way we again know that if user is going to pass this we we will understand that okay user is trying to access the user session and if 
press control plus G to duplicate and change this session to remember me remember me session and let's just change its name to to remember me so for now in here you can see we are passing the session uh, when the user is going to call this class session manager he should have to pass the context previously which is the activity name dot this but now we are asking the user to pass the session name as well which user can get by using session manager dot using any of these names so these names should be same okay now we know know that which session is going to be created each time uh, but we want to create a session like we have create login session so let's just okay so in here let's just copy this function which we have created in the previous activity which is create login session again if you ha have not watched yet the previous tutorial uh, this time we only need to store phone number and password because in the session we don't have anything else the only uh, we have is a phone number and password uh, but we are not going to update these variables because these are already stored if we are going to add anything in these variables then they are going to be updated instead of creating a new session so let's say these are user session variables and now we need remember me variables and again let's just copy this one so this is again a private method like we have declared here so this is a private static final and it cannot again be changed any of the variable cannot be changed but this is private the reason is we are going to create a function which is just going to check that is remember me is already stored or not its name is going to be not is login but is is remember me and we need to change the string over here as well is remember me so we have the first variable uh, this is basically a constructor and this is the first variable we have created now we need two variables with phone number and password so just copy them and paste them here change this key underscore session phone number and key underscore session password we cannot change this key to session uh, it is just a variable name so you can create your own methods but I am not changing because I have defined session here with the session names. So we have three variables. The first one is going to be boolean like this. Let's head back to create remember me session. And we are passing the phone number and password. So the first one is going to be is remember me. And we are adding true here. As you can see we are putting boolean inside this string and which is true when the user is trying to or the user will access this function which is create remember me session then we will first set true inside this is remember me and add it in the session and then we have two more variables which is key underscore session phone number and we have key underscore password so we pass the phone number here received from the activity and then we have the password received from again the activity okay we have basically created all these variables or store them in a string uh, in the session sorry now we store them and we commit all the changes but we need to fetch these values as well every time so again I am going to copy this function which is get user details from session uh, basically the previous tutorial is in detail that's why I'm not going to in depth about the sessions so please just watch it's just a matter of few minutes so please watch that so let's change this name to remember me details from session open this function and again if you watch the previous tutorial uh, we are basically returning the hash map because it is a key and a value pair so we need to pass or to get session data and pass it using the key value which is hash map then we need phone number and password so we will remove everything extra so what we are doing is we are basically putting create a hash map and add the phone number here which is uh, make sure that you should use the right name which is phone number copy it and paste it and in here user session dot get string and we need to get this string and we are storing it inside hash map and again we need to update it as 
session password instead of simple password and copy and paste it so these two should be same these two should be same and now we are returning this data to calling activity and the last function is like we have here is check login which is checking that is data is available or not so the same way we are going to check login remember that we have created a variable which is is remember me and when this session is going to be create we are setting is remember to true right so we are going to check that if user session dot get boolean we are basically you you can see we are getting here not setting anything so we will say is remember me this is just a dummy value so it's a requirement that we need to pass so we just passed false here uh, we are basically checking that if user session dot get boolean is remember me if this is remember me is going to return true uh, we are basically returning true when this function is going to call else we will return false that means that remember me doesn't contain anything so let's change its name check remember me and that's it for these three variables uh, these three functions we created the variables let's go back to login and in here when the user click on this button to login then we uh, this function will be called after getting all the variables we are basically checking that if remember me dot is checked that if this remember me is checked then we want to store this data and we can store it like this way we will create session manager instance is equal to new session manager and now we in here we need to pass two things the first one is the context and the second thing here you can see at the top is session name so how we can get the session name s e w -S, s which is the class name dot session underscore you can see the variables which are public we can access them outside the class so this time it is going to be session underscore remember me so when this will be executed it is going to create a new session with this session underscore remember me or if this session is already created it is going to get that or wake that wake that up to be executed so we have error here in the previous tutorial we were passing just the context but this time we need to pass the session name as well which is user session okay now once this is created we need to create a session and store these fields whatever they contain phone number and password session manager dot create a remember me session uh, remember that we are going to call the functions for the remember me because we have created session with the remember me here and we need to pass phone number and password so we have phone number and also we have password so make sure that you do not pass complete phone number which contains country code picker plus get phone number etc because we are just storing phone number and password and in here we are going to create or to get the values from the session so let's just copy this line because we again need to create a session variable and again the session is going to be remember me session okay now before going to get the data from session uh, meanwhile maybe session is empty because user never checked this remember me button so uh, but every time every time this on create will be executed so we, we want to make sure that uh, we need to add a check if session manager dot check remember me so we need hash map in a string format let's name it tails is equal to session manager dot get remember me details from session so we are basically get all the details from session and storing it inside this hash map, hash map. and then we can set these values go to login.xml and if we want to set anything to this phone number and to this password then we need to define go to split mode and inside this text input layout as we are using the id with the text input layout not with the text input edit text so we cannot set anything to this layout using this specific id so we need to define id over here 
so we have created their hooks now inside this if we are going to set phone number dot edit text dot set text and we will get the phone number from session by calling remember me details which is this hash map which contains everything dot get and now we need to call a pass string here which is the key which is going to fetch the data so we can get it session manager dot key underscore session phone number which was the public so control d this time it's password edit text dot set text and we will get session password and we set it on this uh, on these fields so when this activity is going to be executed every time if the session is created it is going to get the detail whatever is inside this phone number and password and update it so let's try to run our application okay so our application is running after splash screen click on the plus sign and then click on the login the first time because this is the first time we never created a session you can see nothing has uh, appeared or set by default so let's enter the phone number and a password uh, now we have data we check the remember me click login checking the database and this means that session should be created we redirect it to another screen and user uh, this means user is logged in so let's just close this city guide application and rerun it and now click on this plus again go for the login and you can see I did nothing but my phone number and password is by default added by the session so let's again destroy it last time run it again it is running in a flow nothing edited click on this plus icon go for the login and again you can see it is added so this was what we were going to create and now we have created it successfully if you learn something please like the video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe it because more amazing things are coming uh, keep following the city guide application and you can get all the codes all the links from the description below so thank you for watching take care allah hafiz